morning. It's time for Mornings with Mona. We are talking about a issue that is near and dear to my heart. I love helping moms find their passions and their gifts and their talents and incorporating them into a full life that's full of mom, mom things, all mom things and all marriage things. Good morning, Amber. You know, I'm talking about it today. Do you ever feel like you wonder where the you that used to be got up and went? Do you feel like um, this isn't what you expected? Um, does, do you feel like even though you try really hard, you still feel like something's left undone and everybody's gonna know it? Do you feel like your personal dreams and goals have gone away? And is there a little part of you that's just a kind of tick, just sometimes, that it doesn't appear that your man has had to do the same thing? Hmm. Well, if you've answered yes to any of these, then sweetheart, you are not alone. You're not alone. It's perfectly normal to feel that way as a mom and a wife. And part of that is because the, the, um, the act of motherhood is such an innate thing in who we are as women. And as we are women and we're nurturers and we're connectors and we're helpmates and we're life givers, all of those things come to their very peak of how God made us. And it comes to the peak of what he, he loves most in the world, and that's people. So he wants the things that he's incorporated into you as a woman to come out of you and reflect him to children that need you. And you love them. And there's this connect, weird connection that like you will do just about anything. But what you need to know is that God hasn't asked you to stop being you. He didn't ask you to stop taking the things that were inside of you, the gifts and talents that he placed in you and the um, the, the path that he has for you, he didn't ask you to throw it away. So today I want to talk to you about the, um, how to find those gifts and talents and those strengths. I call them find your blue hot flame, the passion that's inside of you and how to work it in to your life. You shouldn't be laying all of this down. You should not. Okay, um, when this happens, you're starting to feel this way. You are, um, you've come to a point where you need to rearrange and redefine. Simple as that. It's not a time to be a victim. You're not a victim. You're blessed by God and you've been given an amazing gift of a husband and children. So you're not a victim. So like, I'm not going to let you go there. I don't feel sorry for you. There are women that want children that can't have children and they're, they're wanting them. So you're not a victim, but you are majorly blessed and God has a way for you to handle this. And in the Bible, he talks about Titus 2 as the older women teaching the younger women how to do all this stuff. Well, here I am as an older woman, helping you as a younger woman not lose yourself in the process of this amazing gift that God's given you of motherhood and marriage, of being able to reflect God in your marriage. We're going to be talking about marriage in February. I'm so excited. I've already started laying stuff out. In March, we're going to be talking about mothering and how to be a great parent. And in April, we're going to be talking about self-care. And girl, I think we'll just get it all done by before, before summer even gets here. So in this time of rearranging and redefining, I want you to remember one thing. This isn't hard. And even if it is, you can do it. We have a saying in the Corman household, hard is not a stop sign. Hard is a sign to keep going until it's not hard anymore. Like we have God, we can figure this out. We can figure out how to not lose ourselves and still be um, with our family and still be with our children. Yes, we can do that. 
All right, so how do we do it? Well, the very first thing we're gonna do to renew the vision for our life is to um, figure out our priorities. You make time for what you think is the most important. Yeah. And I know, I know you, because you're like me. Moms like us think the most important thing is our kids. And they're pretty important, but they're not the only priority in our lives. And so we need to lay out the priorities that we have. And here is the wisdom that I want you to have today. You can't have it all at the same time. I don't know why people in the culture say this. I think it's a lie from the enemy, from the pit of hell, to make you as a mom, a stay-at-home mom, a work-at-home mom, like make you feel like you're a loser. Like you, you, you're losing it. You're losing it and you lost it. But you can't have it all at the same time. You can't, but you can have it all. You have to prioritize it. You have to decide what are the most important things that you have in your life and then do those. You have to decide. Okay. Um, this, th our lives get more complicated as it gets more full with more priorities. And it's not like when we were in college and we just had friends and schoolwork and all the other fun stuff that we were doing. It was kind of just all about us. Now there's more people in it. Don't like be angry that, um, that it's not like when you were in college. When you were in college, you didn't have this wonderful baby. Um, in college, you didn't get to sleep with your man, like your husband. Like you, you didn't get to have that oneness that God provides in marriage. So there's just different wonders and different great things about every season. So while you're in the season, which you're married, this season goes to the end, and you're a mom like for your whole life, but your parenting is more condensed right now. So it's going to take one of those top priority spots. All right, so number two is your mindset. This is kind of what I've just been talking about. You need to change your mind about some stuff. Instead of like, the drudgery and dragging through it like oh this is just the season of diapers and uh, you know I'm just gonna gr I'm just gonna uh, grip my teeth and get through it I hear a lot of moms like oh I, it's just a season I'll get through I'll get through like you're missing you're missing the blessing you're missing the development of the nurturing and the patience and the fruit of the spirit that you get to have when you have a two-year-old. <laughs> Look at it as a blessing for that season. And not just a blessing for that season, but soak it up. Double down and soak it up. Because that's what God's given you for this time. And he's going to grow you through it. And you're going to find him through it. And you're going to... Be there and, and experience the things that you've never experienced before. Yes, I know. The, the drawing in, on the wall and all of that other stuff, that fun stuff. But just think about the moment that you saw, uh, that I saw, like a permanent marker on the back of my brand new dining room chair. Like, doesn't come off. And it was an antique, so you can't sand it off. But there was this moment that I, I was like, oh my gosh, this is, the, this is the cutest thing I ever saw. And then in that exact moment, mixed with that was, I cannot believe this. I've searched all over for this for years for this dining room set and look at it now. So like that little moment doesn't happen to a college senior. It doesn't. So there are things that you're going to experience that are just so wonderful and marvelous. So double down and soak it up. Change your mindset. You're not just getting through this season. You're actually experiencing it in a way that God's growing you and using you to be his hands and feet. Okay, and then the last, oh, the bottom line is you get to pick whether you're going to be drudgery or you're going to be focused down and soaking it up. You get to decide. And sometimes... I double down and I grumble at the same time. How about you, Amber? Yep, I know it's a good word. It's true. But 
you're really good at this, Amber. You're really good at setting priorities. And, and I've watched you change your mindset in 15 minutes. So it is possible. It is possible. And we uh, sometimes have to change our mindset three or four times a day. But that's okay. You can do it because moms like us, we do hard, right? Okay. And then the third one is your personal passions. You need to know what they are. Um, and you shouldn't ignore them. I have a girl right now that um, I'm trying, it's Amy, Amy Pearson, and I want her to put together a talk for you on how to talk to your children about God and also how to teach them about salvation. I think this is really important and I think y'all would love it. Well, Amy has three little kids and she doesn't know how she's going to fit that in, but it's a passion. I mean, evangelism is a passion for her and so she's working it around and she's looking for a spot where she can use her gifts and talents and her passion to satisfy herself and bless others and you'll be seeing that in March I'm excited because she said yes okay so when you go to find your gifts and talents you're gonna find something that's called your blue hot flame this is the thing that's down inside of you that just is your favorite thing like you just love it and some people maybe not like it like I have a friend she loves braids she loves braids she loves hair she talking extensions I mean she just wants to talk about that kind of stuff all the time well it's deep down inside of her that she has a servant's heart to help women look pretty with their hair that's that's a passion that's a gift from God to bless his daughters it's not always like this huge you know I want to be a missionary and go off into the world I mean like your passions are God-given and you need to find out what they are and I have today I've got a um, a resource for you if you and it'll have the rest of the, like how to find your blue hot, hot flame and um, fan it so uh, it is if you text the word find yours all together find yours if you text that word to the number 44222 follow the prompts and you will get the rest of this talk like you'll get the five steps of how to find your blue hot flame and fan it and that because that's all I got for you today because Manisha is waiting for me I'm gonna have to get to Pilates <laughs> y'all you so need to know that yes the Lord births his plans deep and down down inside our spirit before we're even born he tells us in Jeremiah 29 11 that God has um, plans for us and he has a path for us and you certainly don't have to take it you do not have to take it he's gonna love you so much if you never did another good thing in your life he's not gonna love you more like doing good things for him doesn't make him love you more he already loves you as much as he can love you and honestly if you never did if you continue to do some not so great stuff that doesn't make him love you less he already loves you as much as he can love you he's already pleased with you he's already died for you he's already spoken wonders over your eternity and if you're a believer, you're going to be with him. Like he's making a mansion up there for you, right? Isn't that what we're told? He's got a house for us up there where we're going to dwell and we're going to live for eternity with Christ. And none of, none of this, but, but we get to, <laughs> we get to partake and be in a relationship with him here on earth to like help us and guide us. And, and he's created things for you to do when you're here. Don't you want to know him? Okay, I hope you'll download this. Download Find Yours to the number 44222 and get your resource. It's a good one. I love it. Okay, that's it, little mama. Because moms like us, we don't lose ourselves. We prioritize, we have change our mindset, and we find that blue hot flame, and we fan that thing. All right, little mama. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh! Brooke Saylor is going to be on, on the um, Mom Looks Like Us mom class tomorrow. 
and she's going to be talking, her and I are going to be talking all things physical and spiritual for home, but you've got to register. So register and I'll put the registration up there because I'm not going to put that in the mom community because it's in a classroom and it's a link, but it's really fun. We're like the Brady Bush in there. You'll love it. All right. So join us tomorrow for that. I'll put the link for that and the resource. And if you get in the class, there's a special bundle you get that's really good. That's got a bunch of good stuff in it. I'm just trying to equip you because mom's like us. we got to learn stuff. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.